Hey, I'm back again. Something different. I'm trying this out now. Um, you guys know I don't normally do political reads, and this isn't really very political, but um, just thought I would try a couple more little um, pictures in politics. So, thank you again for joining, and I really appreciate all of you guys are so wonderful. Your support, your comments are beautiful, and I send you, gosh, Lots of love out there, wherever you are in the world. So thank you again for joining. So the first thing I did, I did three pictures today. First thing, I just did the earth. And it, this is earth. What I really felt with earth is there's a lot of blue around her. And there's a big patch of gold and yellow. Really big. And I'm chill I get the chills that I even talk about the golden yellow it feels like um, there's a lot of angels in this field there's a lot of angels actually all over but really close to the earth and going out there's a lot of angels I have no idea how many miles this is I just saw a big thing of gold and yellow and then there's blue and then a lot of blue around her and then green I feel like this is a positive in the future as I'm even saying it now I know we're worried about the climate change I know we're worried about all the mass extinction and all this that's happening. But when I go into the green and when I see the colors, it feels very positive. I have no idea how many miles or how many years or whatever this is exactly, but I just know, again, this is full of angels. I kind of drew the little things in there. Okay, she knows what she's doing, I hear. She knows what she's doing, why she's going through changes, why uh, there's extinctions, why the trees, uh, all this. She knows what she's doing. There is lesson, there's karmic lesson in all this. And it's related to, I'm getting the idea that it's related to previous planetary extinctions and planetary changes, other planets. She's got it, it's like it's all figured out. I feel like we're over, the, even though it doesn't seem like it, I feel like what she, I'm, the impression I'm getting from her is that it's gonna be okay. I mean, I'm sorry to be the Pollyanna, but that's what it feels. I feel like it's gonna really be, she knows what she's doing. She's wiser. It's like the mom who knows more than the children, and that's how it feels with her. All right, so hope that helps you. I, I didn't know what to think about that or what to expect. Now, I did a couple other weird ones. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. Okay, from him, I first of all, I really get into his brain and there's just, this is, you don't need to be psychic to know this. We know his brain is not functioning good. It's just a lot of, almost like spaghetti, dark energy in his brain. And um, also, I feel like he can't even, he's trying to get light, but he's got dark. He's really got a lot of darkness over him. The spirit that's hanging around is dark. I'm sorry. So sorry. I don't like to see that with anybody. I also feel like he's very isolated. This feels like he's just cut off from everybody. He used to, I feel like he used to be green. I feel like his, when he was in the positive, I feel like he was a green life color. I think he has a bit, had the potential to be a healer. And he's also half and half here on his body for some reason. I'm getting a green on one side, a red on the other. Um, this, oh, oh, his mouth. Well, you know, we know this. This is not, I, you don't need to be psychic. I get the energy of red around him. It's like, there's no filter. And it's part of this, the brain too. There's no filter in his brain about what to speak. He really can't, he doesn't think he's doing anything wrong. He can't see it. He can't feel it. He doesn't, I mean, I think there's dementia. I guess there's, I feel like it's a feeling like dementia here. And his health doesn't feel good. His health does not feel good. I don't, he feels very unhealthy. Okay, so that's what I get from him. And I'm so sorry. I really don't want to see anybody in the dark. Okay, last one here, um, Bannon. So first thing I got was, whoa, he's in hot water. I mean, it, and it's rising by the day. This hot water here, all this hot water, he's in hot water. Oh, and I get, it's even over his mouth. He doesn't want to talk. 
He does not want to talk. He's afraid for his life. He's coming in right here. He's also hope, somehow hoping Trump can help him. I'm not sure how he can, but anyway, I don't know enough about it all. Um, and, oh yeah, he, of course, this is not, you don't have to be, of course, everybody would know, would know. He wants to just slide out. It's like this green line, slither away is what he really wants to do. But he is afraid for his life. Uh, and he's got the goods. I feel like he's got the goods here in this blue. He knows stuff. And it's like the jewels. He really has the jewels about the information. That's why he doesn't want to show up. Oh, and there's a lot of stuff pounding down on him. I actually feel it from many directions, from many arenas, it's coming in. He's trying to think his way out of it. He really is still hoping he can think his way out of it. He's thinking of new ideas. And he, again, he's hiding information. This is hiding information. He's got, he's got the information and he's really hiding it. I don't know. This is not news, but the main thing I guess that was a news is that um, he's fearful of his life and also he's hoping for, he's getting new ideas Okay, that's all, guys. And I don't want to go into that energy too much, but just kind of fun. I'd never checked in with uh, Bannon or Julie. Maybe I have with Giuliani before. But anyway, it's not a secret. This is pretty much public knowledge. <laughs> but it was interesting to go into the feeling of their field. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. And, um, oh, as far as Bannon goes in time-wise close. Ah, this is a big week. This week, next week. I don't think more than three weeks. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's really uh, coming in on him. Okay, guys. Blessings. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.